Welcome everyone back to episode 19 of Ali A's Quest. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. You guys are the bestest. Oh, I'm on my teleporter. You gotta watch out for the teleporter. Last episode, if you missed it, episode 18, we ventured out pretty far, just ran for about 10 minutes. Um, and we found ourselves in this awesome jungle area. And I've just noticed behind me, actually, look how sick. Look how sick and how high up that area is. I really want to go up there and link that area up with that. How sick would that be? That would be absolutely awesome. Should I take a teleporter with me? Maybe I should take a teleporter with me. Um, but if you missed last episode, check it out down below in the description. We're always hitting 10,000 likes. Thank you guys, as always, for that. Yesterday, I should have posted my very first... Uh, episode of my new adventure called Herobrine's Mansion. Hopefully you guys have never seen the map before. If you haven't, go and check it out. Hopefully you guys are really enjoying it so far. Uh, so I think I'm actually going to pick this up. We worked out, but it does just turn back into teleportation uh, packet, which is very, very cool. Um, now, between this episode and last episode... Oh! What's that? What is that? Doesn't look like we did find um, over there a goblins thing, but that looks pretty different. But at the same time, I want to go up to that. Ah, oh, decisions, decisions, decisions. Okay, I don't want to forget about that. I really don't. You know what? Let's go to it first, just because I think I'll forget about it. <laughs> Let's go over to it and just see what it is now. Between this episode and last episode. Um, I quickly went back, I ran all the way back home and changed the frequency of the home teleporter to 3. So as soon as I place down my own one here and put it on 3, I can go directly back home. Which now means that the home teleporter is on the right frequency, which is great, and it means we can continue having some fun. I also want to actually start making some new items. I want to finally use the... Um, the essence and the sort of like the cool uh, totem pole we got from... Um, hey, it's another Komodo dragon. Let's see if we can get another egg from him. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. I feel... Sorry. Oh, yes. We got reptile hide. And you may be like, why are you going yes? Reptile hide's awesome, dude. You can make awesome armor with it. That's why I'm going yes. Um, so let's just put that up there quickly. So uh, I want to actually use the totem pole and actually make a new item with it, which I said I was going to do. And I'm like, why am I waiting? Let's just do it, dude. So let's just put it into action. Yes, more reptile hide. That's what I'm talking about. I think the area I saw was just... Oh, is it another? No, wait, is it another one? I thought my, my one I saw of it. Yeah, that's that's what I saw. Wow, that's like a glitched out. Is that one goblin house, another goblin house, and then another goblin house? Except this one doesn't look like it's a full on goblin house. Look, it looks like it's just one house, but it looks like it's got its own totem pole, which is what I want, baby. That's what I'm all about. I'm all about the totem pole life, which could give us even more materials to make even more awesome stuff. And it's an Ent. It's an awesome Ent. What a hero. So let's just assess this area. So we've only got... Actually, there's like two houses. Over there... Wait, what? We've got one. We've got two. We've got three... And we've got... Well, I don't even know, dude. So I do not even know what is going on. Let's just go in there and see. So it looks... Wow, what the heck? Looks like their house is going to burn down, to be honest. <laughs> now, I could... Okay, so this is a mini totem pole. So I guess it's a mini goblin area. I could be right. All right, let's go and take a look. Oh, gosh. These guys are back. These dudes are back. I need to get rid of this as quickly as possible. Thank you very much. Oh, we just destroyed this area. We just destroyed this area. Let's go. Oh, man. I need to get rid of some of the stuff I don't need. Ah! No! Get away from me, fiend. Get away from me, boy. I do not want anything to do with you. Uh, leather we don't really need. Gold would be nice. Bombs are awesome, dude. Let's be real. We've seen them in action before. Let's go to that and take that. Oh, so. Oh, wait. What? Oh, here we go. I thought I'd lost it for a second. Oh my gosh, their house is legitimately burning down. Jesus. <laughs> I'm sorry, dudes. Uh, you know, that could be useful. I'm going to leave it there for the moment. Now, cool thing is, we have got ourselves a little bit, not a massive amount, but a little bit of a totem pole. So it looks like you can actually get mini goblin villages that will offer up um, just one piece of a totem pole, which is cool, uh, because you actually only need technically one piece of a totem pole to um, to actually make something very, very cool, which is awesome. 
Jeez, this place is crazy. Ents, what do you have to say about us, huh? What do you have to say about this big fat Ents? Look at you. Look how epic these dudes are. These dudes, um, you can't actually kill. Well, you can actually kill them. You can hit with your you can hit them with um a pickaxe and kill them. But they're pretty friendly creatures. We do have a lion over here, a big cat. Now, I could try and tame it. Or I could try and kill it, and if I kill it, I could get a very cool item. I'm going to try and kill it. I know it's a bit of a risky thing, and I know it's like one of the very first ones we've seen, but we've got the item that I wanted. Let's go. I'm going to drop off a fence, because let's be real, we don't need that. A big cat claw is actually a very, very awesome item, but we are going to have to leave this area for the moment. There is just so much stuff going on. It's actually kind of crazy. I mean, look at this, dudes. Look at this. Look how many... Goblin things there are. It's absolutely insane. So I guess what we can do is just put that down. Put it on to frequency three. Plop back home, my friends. And we are here. I'm just going to get off it just so it doesn't teleport me all the way back again, thank goodness. <laughs> Alright, we are back home, dudes. How is everyone doing? Let's go for a little bit of a rest once the sun finally goes down. Okay, so my waypoints do keep on screwing up and deleting themselves sometimes, but I'm going to add a waypoint once we get back there. Oh, I don't, I don't know. Do we need to add a waypoint? There's a lot of goblin things over there, dudes. It's kind of crazy. Um, because that's just absolutely insane. So many goblin areas. I still want to go up to the top of the forest area. I think that's where I'm going to put down my teleportation device. But... What? What? Turtle? Bunnies? What the... What has gone on since I've been away? What the heck? These bunnies are just multiplied. Look, one, two, three, four. Are they all mine? Oh, I, I can just make them mine. Bertie. We got we got pets. We got new we got new they must have had babies. <gasps> this is amazing. So looks like guys, we've just got a load of baby bunnies that have been spawned since we've been gone. And look at this dude. Terry is growing up and we can still put him on our heads, dudes. We can still put him on our heads. We're an absolute legend, dude. I love our turtle. I'm not going to lie. Let's check up on our shark while we're here as well. Shark, how are you? Are you growing up too, buddy? Are you growing up too? Welcome to Ali Air Zoo. To Ali Air Zoo. My zoo, not your zoo. The duck is still... <gasps> He's huge. Oh my gosh. Our shark is absolutely crazy. How are you doing, buddy? How are you doing? I'm not sure what you need to be eating, but you still seem to be at full health, and that's the main thing. <gasps> Dude, how sick is that? Everything is growing up. Snakes seem to be growing up as well. Komodo dragons are just kicking butt, to be honest. They don't need to grow up. They're just being absolutely awesome. Oh, we've got bunnies. I didn't even realize we just disappeared. And then suddenly, boom, the bunnies were there, my friends. But I did say I wanted to make something cool. So since we got ourselves the yellow bit of the totem pole, I'm going to use that. I just want to drop off a load of stuff for the moment because our inventory is fairly full, to say the least. Let's pop that in there. Uh, armor, I guess that could go up there. Goblin flesh, I have no idea what to do with. Do we have any more goblin flesh lying around? Surely we do. No? Did I throw it all away? Huh. Maybe I threw it all away, goblin flesh. Let's put it there, because I'm not quite sure what to do with it at the moment. We've got some gold. Oh, is that, our first, is that our first gold? Really? We haven't found gold before? Okay. <laughs> New gold find, I guess. Uh, we do have some books somewhere. Where did I put them? Here we go. Let's go and grab that. Put the books back here. Uh, since that big cat claw is quite important, we'll put that up at there as well. Uh, we've got loads and loads and loads of stuff going on here. It's kind of crazy. What I do want to make, guys, is this. So I want to make a beautiful... I'm going to make a few. I'm going to make two fish bowls. So fish bowls... Screw it, I'm making three. <laughs> fish bowls can be used to capture fish. We've seen some of the fish before, to capture the fish. And uh, once you capture them, probably they stay in the fish bowl. And then you can uh, bring them home and put them in awesome places. So that's what we're going to do, hopefully. I'm going to put the stone down, I'm going to put the gates down, just stuff that we really don't need to hold on to quite yet. The fence you probably don't need, oh, uh, that we don't need as well, bombs will keep on us, because why not, bow will keep on us, and I think that is good. Now, for this, what you do is you place it in there, oh, we got four, wow, okay. And uh, you get powder. So all of these um, totem poles will change into powder. Once you've got powder, you put two along next to each other and you'll get yourself a crystal. So I now have myself a lightning crystal. Now I believe if I do that, yes, baby, I can make myself a light 
happening stuff. Now, I think we're going to put the um, important stuff in there for the moment. Now, this lightning staff, I've never used a staff in my life. I just know how to make it. Will apparently, like, literally send out lightning. Okay, guys, it's going to be pretty insane. So what I'm going to do is leave my animals behind for the moment. Go back to where we were. Because uh, we're exploring new areas, dudes. We were exploring new areas. Is it raining? No, not raining. Awesome. Um, I'm going to put down a waypoint as close to here as I can. This looks like a far bigger village than the one we found last time as well, if I'm not mistaken. looks absolutely huge. So let's place down a waypoint. Uh, waypoint add lots of goblins, basically. <laughs> That's probably the best way to describe it. So that has now been added. Awesome. Uh, the Ents are over there chilling. Anything else over there of importance? Not really. I'm going to go around the edge because I hate swimming. It takes a while to swim. And we'll go back to the forest and go up to the forest area. So let's see. Actually, you know what? Let's use this lightning stuff. It only has, I believe, 15 uses. So not many uses at all. I've never used it in my life. Apparently, it just works on the area you click on. So let's give it a go. Are you, are you ready? <laughs> are you ready? <laughs> I don't know if I'm ready, to be honest. Oh, sick. Sick. I'm burning down their house. Let's go. Dude, this could actually be really useful for actually taking down. I'm just going to let it burn. Or is that kind of dangerous? Because I like, could I set the whole place on fire? Will the fire stop spreading? No, it looks like the fire stop. Um, I think the fire will just carry on through the... I think it's fine, guys. I'm going to put that bit out. I think it's fine. But that's awesome. A lightning staff, dude actually sends out fire and can set things on fire. I'm not going to use that in the forest. <laughs> Got to be real careful with that. Um, but that's going to be pretty awesome for taking down um, the other goblins, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. We got ourselves a first staff. I told you guys it makes something pretty neat. Uh, it can actually make some other staffs as well. It can make some other items. Not too many other items, uh, but it can make a few other staffs. So if you guys want me to make some other staffs, I will do that as well. I'm just kind of like trying to preserve. I was trying to preserve the totem pole. It's quite an awesome looking thing. But now that we've got... Um, Let's make sure I'm going in the right direction. Now that we've got loads of these dudes near us, I think it's over in that direction, yeah. Oh, this direction, really? Okay. Uh, now that we've got loads of goblin areas near us, we can happily spend our uses on all of these totem poles, um, turn them into the crystals, and just make a load of awesome stuff, basically. So, I think I spotted this area. If this map loads in, come on, load in. I'm pretty sure the forest should be... Oh, maybe we've gone pretty damn far. Maybe the forest is actually... Hmm. No, I think the forest is in this direction. Yeah, I think we're right. I think we're right, dudes. I think uh, we are right. Yeah, here we go. So I think the other one was over there. Absolutely crazy, dudes. Those goblins, I'm not going to take them on because you guys have seen me take them on before. And they are pretty damn tough. <laughs> um, but at least we know of their presence. Now, I do want to get myself a fish as well. But... We may save the fish for the moment. I want to go up to those big, big forest area first. Now, there's another cave system here. I'm going to write this down here and just hope that it adds itself. Cave near forest. Okay. A bit of a uh, sort of like, you know, a bit of a um, random sort of description. But hopefully it's enough for me to understand. And uh, for us to explore, and hopefully the waypoint doesn't just disappear like they have been doing so in the past. But we are going to head straight into the thick of the forest, dudes. Um, and I think we're going to make like a forest base. Because we kind of made like a forest, like, it wasn't really a base. What the heck? Goblin area. But no goblin. That's crazy, dude. Iron, I'll take that. Coal, bread, I'll take that. Free stuff, basically. Awesome. Looks like the um, goblins just left. Maybe they've gone out on a little bit of a mission. Maybe the elephants killed them. <laughs> I'm not sure. Oh, another turtle. What up, dude? I don't have any melons on me, bro. But if I had melons on you... Oh, two of them. If I had melons on you guys, on me, I'd totally feed you. But unfortunately, I don't right now. Oh, sick. A proper big cat. Now... You may be thinking, why don't you just tame it? I can't tame... I may keep that one, actually, because that one is pretty awesome. Hopefully it doesn't turn on me when I try and kill this one. But, oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. They're pretty powerful. They're pretty powerful. There we go. Oh, two. Yes. I may be able to make what I want to make. So, to actually tame the big cats, you need to make, like, a medallion. And I think the medallion has to be made out of big cat claws. So, you've got to have killed cats 
to make it, if you see what I mean. You can't just go ahead and be like, I want to tame it with like a fruit or with anything like that. So, oh, there's another one. Dude, this is sick. We're going to be making our base like near a load of big cats. Next level stuff, dude. So I think we need to head up here. Bit of parkouring, which uh, you guys know I'm not amazing at, but <laughs> we're getting there. Ugh. 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 Okay, this should be good. I told you it was high, Jeebus. We have to make some sort of like special platform to get down or something. I guess just another teleporter, maybe? I don't know. Let's go upstairs. Here we go, dudes. These are the trees. We are high up. <laughs> we are high up. I'm pretty sure these are the trees I pointed out in last episode. Nice, nice, nice. Jeebus, this is so insane. Look how high you can go. Okay, so this is it. So that was a tree I pointed out, and this was a tree I pointed out. Tree, you're awesome, but it's time for me to make you my own. Now, this one looks like kind of a small tree, so I'm going to break you down. I'm going to break you down. Never going to turn you around. And uh, I'm going to take this wood, this jungle wood, sweet, and use that as just like a walking area, if you see. I mean, like as a spiral staircase to get up. Um, now, how high can we go? This is scary. I do not like heights. I think from this area here, we can actually go up quite high. before it sort of starts to break. Oh boy, oh boy, okay. We'll save the vine, so put that there. Let's go, that's our st first stepping stone. Um, is there any vines on the other side I can use? Um, you know what I may do? That gets me there. This isn't like the most effective way of getting up. Hmm. Um, would that stop my head? It probably will. St hmm. I want to get up. I want to get up to the top of the tree, dudes. What's the most effective way to do it? We could just do the old-fashioned method that we did last time. But I kind of want there to be like a more direct route upwards, if you see what I mean. Rather than having to sort of like smash our way up. Oh. Thank you. I know it's getting quite dark, dudes. Um, let's go up this way. There we go. Alright, it's getting dark. The sun's going down. I know this is going to be really dark for you guys. I apologise. I do apologise. It's too late to apologise. Alright. Oh, okay. We, you know what? We can always do this. We can always uh, do uh, this. There we go. Just head back home. We are so high up, it's actually pretty crazy. And uh, how are our animals doing? Is our turtle growing again? Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. I just love putting in my head. What an absolute legend of an animal, dude. Definitely need to get a few more of those things. And our bunnies just roaming around. I believe that when they make baby bunnies, you can just, like, tame them straight away. That's why I right-clicked that new bunny. And it just became mine instantly. It's like, in you, it had that connection, you know what I mean? Now, I was lucky I didn't just fall off the end there. Because that easily could have happened. What the heck? Oh, maybe you can only break it with a diamond. What? Hmm. Hold on, dudes. Let's just make sure we've got some space here. Let's break this thing. There we go. Thank you. Okay, so, awesome, awesome, awesome. This actually leads just up to a high enough place. If I put that there, break that, maybe it will allow me to go up to here. Yes. Dude, we're making our next level jumps here. Here we go. Nice. We're getting up. We're getting closer. Um, let's go this way. We're getting closer to the top. Closer to the top. This is like the most <laughs> crazy method of getting to the top of the tree ever. Here we go. Uh, let's break that one. Then we can climb up here. Here we go. We're almost there, dudes. We're almost there. Yes, we have made it to the top of my kingdom. Kind of, maybe not. Wait, no way. We just got shears. We could have used shears. That's awesome. So, oh, it's a complete idiot. You guys must have thought as soon as you saw those shears, just use them. So maybe we could actually go all the way back down. If I grab some shears, should work. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Just gonna grab myself some of these dudes. Thank you. 
I'm going to grab myself some of these as well, actually, because why not? I can. Let's go. I'm going to make it go all the way along this way of the map. Now, I've got to be careful, because I've still got random blocks everywhere like that. But we should, I reckon, have enough already to get us. So that one goes there. That one goes there. Let's go. That one goes there. That one goes there. Gonna break that one there. Gonna break this one there. Gonna break that one there. Now I've got to break this one as well. Four should be enough. It's a little bit of a dodgy way of breaking it, but <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. Okay, now we go. Now I've got to fall back down. Let's go, baby. Perfect, perfect, perfect. That iron came in perfect timing. So now I can just place the leaves down just so I can fill in some of the holes that look kind of horrible. Uh probably break this to be honest actually it's kind of in the way now isn't it i'm gonna fill that in oh so we've made it i guess this is gonna be one of our little bases so i want to connect to that tree and have like maybe a walkway between the trees this is like an awesome awesome little mini project to work on um i kind of want to make like a little bit of a hut maybe or at least like a little bit um let me go and grab myself these again so I can use this effectively. Let's, oh gosh. Jeez, Jesus, break some quickly. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Thank you very much. So I'm going to fill in all of these gaps like so. So which way do we come up? We come up this way. It's going to make it a little bit flatter. Nice. Um, I'm going to fill in there. Got some cat claws, which is going to be awesome. I'm so glad we came across those those big cats, since there's still a few of them, a few, few of the lions right, roaming around. I'm pretty sure they're lions and not tigers. <laughs> Do correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I, I swear I just saw a bit of it die. Hopefully not. So let us turn this um, into a little bit of a flat area. Let's go. Like so. I think a few of the leaves are dying, but I think this is because they're like not connected to anything. Okay, cool. We're going to need a few... Wait. The leaves... The leaves dying on me? I hope not. I raised them correctly. Pardon me. Okay, here we go. Got two more. Don't have twos quite enough. Oh, gosh. It is dying. <gasps> what did I do? I didn't mean to kill it. I didn't mean to kill it. It should be hopefully okay. So we get up here. Hopefully we don't just fall into nothingness. Uh, we have a little bit of a room here. Let's place down the teleporter. Teleporter can go here. Just like that. You know what? Let's go all the way to the edge. Why not? Put that like that. Put that like that. Best room ever. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's kind of rubbish, but at least it's just like a nice little area. So let's turn it on to three. So that's going to take us back home. And we are now in a very, very awesome area. I'm tempted just to send my lightning staff off in a direction and just set something on fire. Dude, there's some awesome landscapes around here. Not even going to lie. What should I try and set on fire? Should I try and set something on fire? Should I set, like, that tree on fire? No! Oh! Oh! It hit something. <laughs> Lightning went off, but I think I kind of wasted it because I don't think it actually re reached. I think it went a little bit too far. So there we go, guys. We've made ourselves a little bit of a jungle treehouse special. Um, we didn't have a chance to capture any fish, but at least we can do that next episode, I guess. Uh, we are now very, very high up indeed. We've got a nice way of getting back down, though. Thank goodness, guys. Hopefully you have enjoyed another Allier's qu Quest episode. Let's pull out the lightning staff, dude. Let's pull out the lightning staff. Come on. Where is it? There we go. Oh, gosh. I used it by accident. I'm such an idiot. I'm going to use this thing up so quickly. I'm so sorry. We've got ourselves a lightning staff. Right clicking will not put it across our chest. If you guys have enjoyed, hit the like button. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, tune in in two more days time for the next episode. Check out the players for any more and I'll see you guys next time.